A 53-year-old man presented with a three-week history of intermittent fevers, abdominal discomfort, arthralgia, and swelling of the lower extremities. His history was apparent for bilateral hearing loss, which started at the age of 12. On examination, he was afebrile, cachectic, and wheelchair-bound due to anasarca. He had bilateral conjunctivitis and a non-tender abdomen with ascites. Laboratory investigations were notable for initial leukocytosis with a left shift, an elevated C-reactive protein, and low serum albumin due to nephrotic range proteinuria. Imaging revealed serocytis with a left-sided pleural effusion and abdominal ascites. Investigations for infections, cardiac diseases, and malignancies were unrevealing. The patient reported similar recurring episodes since childhood, sometimes with an urticarial rash, without any clear precipitant. Similar episodes occurred in his mother, his maternal aunt, and maternal grandmother. Given the recurrent episodes of fever, abdominal pain, serocytis, and arthralgia with hearing loss and proteinuria and family history suggesting the vertical transmission of an autosomal dominant trait, we suspected he had Muckle-Well syndrome and confirmed the diagnosis by genetic testing. Muckle-Well syndrome is an autosomal dominant autoinflammatory disease due to mutations in the NLRP3 gene. It presents with recurring but random episodes of fever, headache, conjunctivitis, arthralgia or arthritis, abdominal pain, and urticarial rash with leukocytosis and elevated acute phase reactions during flares. The major complications of the syndrome include sensorineural hearing loss due to chronic inflammation of the inner ear and secondary amyloidosis, which can lead to nephropathy. In Muckle-Well syndrome, heterozygous mutations in the NLRP3 gene lead to its molecular gain of function, causing excessive production of interleukin-1 beta, and as such, interleukin-1 blocking therapies, like the kenikinumab used in this patient, often provides significant benefits.